Greetings, you pirate ships. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and welcome to the Crack Pack here on LRRMTG. Please consider subscribing to our channel. I'm getting a little piratey there. LRRMTG with the pirate ships, etc., etc. Today, we are opening this package from our friends at Card Kingdom because Card Kingdom are sponsoring this episode of Crack Pack. Now, why is that? You would be absolutely forgiven for not knowing this because we do not number the episodes, but this is episode 100 of the crack pack Can you believe it? I hope so, because it's true. And we thought we should do something big. We should do something fun for crack pack episode 100. And Card Kingdom sells packs of revised. And so we went to Card Kingdom and we said, hey, you know, we've been working with you folks for 10 years. Can you, uh, you know, give us a deal maybe on, uh, you know, buying a pack of revised for cheap? And they went, no. What if we just give you a pack of revised? And we said, oh, that sounds actually much better. That's a much better plan. Thank you, Card Kingdom. That sounds nice. And then they said, in fact, what if we give you two packs of revised? And we said, that's excessive. Yes. So today I will be opening courtesy of the good folks at Card Kingdom, two packs of uh, uh, two very carefully packaged packs of revised from 1994. I'm excited. I'm not going to wear gloves, but I have washed my hands. <laughs> I've decided to open this one first. So let's open this one first. Let's visit the shores of imagination. It says... I don't think I've actually read the the flavor text from a pack of revised. Magic the Gathering is a collectible fantasy trading card game from Wizards of the Coast featuring over 300 different cards. Over 300 cards. Amazing. How many more decimals have we added to that since 94? Some are fairly common, some are uncommon, and some are rare. Every player has their own individual deck. Challenge your friends, but remember, your opponent isn't defeated until the last life point has been taken or if they try to draw with an empty deck, or et cetera, et cetera. All right. You know, <laughs> for nearly 30 year old plastic, it's really holding up well. There we go. Now, I don't know anything about collation or print runs or anything about what to look for or expect in a pack of revised. Uh, I'm expecting that there will be some amount of just basic lands in here, and that's going to be sort of disappointing. I have an idea of some cards that are worth, worth value, but other cards, it'll be like, I've never seen this card before. Oh, it's worth 20 bucks. Neat. You know, I have no idea. Probably not this one. We're starting with... Gloom. Two and a black for an enchantment. White spells cost three more mana to cast. White enchantments with activation costs require three more mana to use. That's bad. That's probably just bad. Wooden Sphere is next. It's a single mana for an artifact. For one, any green spell cast gives you one life can only give one life each time a green spell is cast. <laughs> it's like talking to someone very patiently trying to explain it. Any green spell cast gives you one life, can only give one life each time green spell is cast. Uh-huh. No, I get it. It still seems bad. Yes, very bad. Next, blue ward. It's a single white mana for a creature enchantment that says target creature gains protection from blue. Some early magic cards are not great. Drain power. Blue, blue for a sorcery. Opponent must draw all mana from his or her available lands. This mana and all mana in opponent's mana pool drains into your mana pool. You can't take less than all your opponent's mana. What? You just get, they, t they have to tap out and then you get all the mana but you can't take less than all their mana, and Mana Burn existed back then. Wow, I've never heard of this card before. All right. Ooh, a card I've heard of. I mean, I've heard of Wooden Sphere, and I've heard of 
blue ward and stuff, but this card I've heard of, it's Beb. It's blue elemental blast. Single blue mana for an interrupt. Counters a red spell being cast or destroys a red card in play. Rules box before templating. Love it. Destroys a red card in play. Gotta love Beb. Ah, Disintegrate. That's a classic. X and a red for a sorcery. Disintegrate deals X damage to one target. If target dies this turn, target is removed from the game entirely. Never to return. Be gone, target. Thou hast been disintegrated. Next, we've got a Mesa Pegasus. Sorry, Mesa Pegasus. One in a white for a 1-1 Pegasus with flying and bands. It's in so many bands. Before a woman marries in the village of Circe, she must visit the land of the Mesa Pegasus. Legend has it that if the woman is pure of heart and her love is true, a Mesa Pegasus will appear, blessing her family with long life and good fortune. Cool. Ah, uh, here we go. Swamp. Good old swamp. I knew there'd be basics just kicking around in here, because how else would you get basics back then? You needed to open them, right? Starter decks, I guess? There wasn't just a pile of basics that no one wants at your LGS. You gotta get your basics out of packs. Phantasmal Terrain! Another blue blue. This is an enchant land. Target land changes to any basic land type of caster's choice. Land type is set when cast and may not be further altered by this card. I love these wordings. This seems bad. Oh, it's good old Hurloon Minotaur. The face of the game for many years, frankly. One red red for a 2-3 Minotaur. That's it. It's just a thing. It's a Minotaur with a face tattoo. Hell yeah. There's a planes. Nice little basic planes. Terror. Ooh, terror. One in a black. Instant. Buries target creature. Cannot target black creatures or artifact creatures. Classic. Classic terror. One of the most absolutely overpowered magic cards of all time. It's Island. Followed closely by Mountain. <laughs> and finally, Holy Armor. It's Holy Armor. It's a single white mana for a creature enchantment. Target creature... Wow, this is very awkwardly laid out in the rules box. Target creature gains plus O plus two, and for white, it plus O plus one. So it gets plus O plus two baseline, and then also it's got the butt breathing to, to give it an additional plus one toughness that you can pay for it. It's just very badly templated in the rules box. Wow, revised. So we got one of each basic except the forest. Uh, we've got a terror. A Hurloon Minotaur, got a Disintegrate, Blue Elemental Blast, and a bunch of other weird stuff. You know, if someone had Gloom in play, then this Holy Armor would cost four mana, and it would cost four mana to give it the butt breathing, so, you know, Gloom just shuts that whole thing down. <laughs> wow. That was terrible. But that's okay, because they sent us two packs. And this is the one, this is the pack. This is where it's all gonna come together. I believe, I believe in this. Before I open pack two, a quick programming note for the LRR MTG YouTube channel, specifically as it pertains to crack a pack. We're gonna take the show on a little break for a while, only because we've got so much other stuff that we're working on for the Magic channel that uh, we just wanna, you know, take a small hiatus, only a hiatus, for crack a pack which will return at some point when it does return perhaps it will be weekly instead of twice weekly we haven't exactly decided yet but rest assured there are no fewer <laughs> booster packs in that drawer than there were when i started this show a hundred episodes ago so no shortage of content but just so that you know uh after this episode a little bit of a crack a pack hiatus but it shall return at some point. For more information on some other stuff that we're doing for the channel, keep an eye out for a LRR MTG programming update as its own video that might have aired already or be coming later this week with uh, news on some of the new fun stuff we're adding to the channel because uh, I think you'll like it. But now, revised again. This is the revision of this was okay. This was a good start. Let's revise ourselves with a better pack. This is the one. This is gonna have better stuff. Great start. Classic Doug Schuler Basic Mountain. Love to see it. I don't know what the, like the collation of these is like. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be building up to something or if it's just gonna be like 
you're flipping through the pack and then suddenly there's a card in the middle of it that's really cool. Like, I don't know anything about how these packs are laid out. All I know is that we're starting with a basic mountain. So, you know, it's all uphill from here. Ivory Cup. Tell me if this sounds familiar. It's a single mana artifact. Any white spell cast gives you one life. Can only give one life. Each time a white spell is cast. Cool. It's the it's the white wooden sphere. Great. Now, I was thinking about building mono red with that Herloon Minotaur, which is good because I've opened another mountain. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not like crapping myself with value like we opened a dual land or anything, but we got the, the classic misprint. It's Serendib Ifrit. So it's a green card, but it has a blue casting cost. It's two and a blue for a three, four Ifrit with flying, and it does one damage to you during your upkeep, but the border is green. That's cool. Oh, I've, I've never actually seen one of these in person. That's really neat. That's definitely the coolest thing we've opened so far. Next up, we have a third basic mountain. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Nice to round out the whole set with a forest. So, you know, we've got all our, got all our bases covered, basic land-wise. Follow that up with another basic forest. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now, this is where it all comes together with a basic swamp. <laughs> Holy moly. <gasps> lightning bolt. It's lightning bolt. It's a classic. It's lightning bolt, everybody. Look who's here all the way from revised. It's lightning bolt. Yay. That's nice to see, especially after, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six basic lands so far. And we have all these mountains! <laughs> all these mountains to cast our lightning bolt. Oh, speaking of old school, like, landmark cards. Craw Worm! Good old Craw Worm. Four green green for a 6-4 worm. The most terrifying thing about the Craw Worm is probably the horrible crashing sound it makes as it speeds through the forest. This noise is so loud it echoes through the trees and seems to come from all directions at once. Well, if we can't open you know, duels or anything. At least we're opening some classics, right? Got your misprint Serendipa Free, you got your Lightning Bolt, you got six basic lands, you got Craw Worm. Frozen Shade. There's another one I recognize. Two and a black for a zero one summon shade. And for a single black mana, it gets plus one plus one. The Shade ability. Remember? That's what shades do. And then the flavor text is from Edgar Allan Poe. Hey, it's Beb's best friend, Reb. We've got Red Elemental Blast. Single red mana for an interrupt. Counters a blue spell being cast or destroys a blue card in play. I don't know which is more valuable. The red one or the blue one? Probably the red one. It's counter spell in red. But either way, that's neat. More basics? Let's see. Ah, yes, good. Excellent. Good. Another basic mountain. <laughs> Love it. There's two card two cards left. Two cards left in this booster. <gasps> okay, one of them is Circle of Protection Black. I'm surprised that this is the first <laughs> Circle of Protection we've seen, considering in my early Magic opening experience, it was mostly Circles of Protection by volume. One and a white for an enchantment, and you pay one. Prevents all damage against you from one black source. If a source does damage to you more than once in a turn, you must pay one mana each time you want to prevent the damage. All right, and finally, is this going to be our fifth basic mountain? No, it's not. It's a swamp. <laughs> so hang on. So this booster, the second one, swamp, mountain, swamp, forest, forest, mountain, mountain, mountain. So in this pack of 15 cards, seven of them are spells. Let's revise ourselves with a better pack. This is the one. And eight of them are basics and they're all, it's two forests, two swamps and four mountains. 
This is going to have better stuff. Wow. Early Magic Coalition was um, bad. But hey, we got a craw worm and a lightning bolt and the misprint Serendipifreet, and I think that's pretty cool. These are normal 15 card packs. They're not designed for draft, obviously, because they're like half basics, but you know, just, let's just pretend. From the first pack, I would probably take the Terror or the Disintegrate, I'm not sure. The second pack, see, it's an interesting question, because it's like, well, you just take Lightning Bolt and move on with your life, don't you? But Serendipifreet <laughs> lives through Lightning Bolt and can actually kill your opponent. So I might take the Serendipifreet. It's also the rare, apparently, from that pack, and I think the most expensive card we opened today. <laughs> in the first pack, um, the Drain Power is our rare, and it's only worth a couple bucks. And in the second pack, the Serendip uh is worth a few bucks, the Lightning Bolt and the Red Elemental Blast are each worth a couple bucks. But um, as you can see, it's not like... It's, it, it, it's not like a, a staggering uh, value that we've cracked here today on... on on Crack a Pack episode 100. And you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with that because this was fun. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, Card Kingdom, for very kindly giving us these packs for free. Really appreciate it um, by way of you sponsoring the episode. So thank you for that. And thank you all uh, for joining me for these first 100 episodes of, of Crack a Pack. As I said, we're going to go on a little break. It'll be back. The show's not over. We just, we have a lot, we have a lot of magic stuff we're working on. And, uh, you know, every little bit of bandwidth helps. So until I see you again on the Crack a Pack, I have been Graham. James has been on tech. Uh, Matt and a variety of other people actually have been editing these. And uh, Heather gets them online. And you all have been watching, which is, of course, the most important part. And we really appreciate you being here. If you want to send us a pack for uh, to add to the drawer when when for when we return, you can do so to the address on your screen. If you want to support this and any of our content directly, you can do that to the Patreon at patreoncom slash Uh And of course, just you know, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks again to Card Kingdom. Um, lightning bolt. Yeah, I almost actually threw that, and then I realized, nah, that's like two bucks. I shouldn't. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.